Give me a towel. In today's WWE, it is extremely rare to hear news that two superstars have got into a physical confrontation backstage. And we're not talking about a hardcore match, we're talking about a real fight. Oh God! God Almighty! Now this type of behavior was mostly associated with the 80s and 90s, but from time to time, real backstage fights do actually happen in modern WWE. In recent times, these backstage fights have only been revealed thanks to shoot interviews from superstars who were backstage at the time. But which times were they? Which superstars got into a real fight? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE wrestlers who had a real life fight with a fellow wrestler. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Can you give him a message for me? Sure, I'll give him whatever. Don't oh, A message? Number 10, Goldberg vs. Chris Jericho. When Goldberg joined the WWE in 2003, he was bringing a lot with him, a lot of baggage from his time in WCW. As well as a reportedly poor attitude, Goldberg held a lot of grudges and one of these superstars he didn't seem to like was Chris Jericho. Goldberg and Jericho were initially supposed to work a program back in WCW, but Goldberg would squash these plans citing that Jericho wasn't even at his level. Though would finally explode in April of 2003, as during a Raw main event which featured Jericho teaming with Triple H to take on Booker T and Shawn Michaels, Goldberg was reportedly extremely critical about Jericho backstage. Once Jericho headed backstage, he was informed that Goldberg had been bad-mouthing him, so Jericho naturally confronted him. What ensued was a shoving match back and forth, but this was until Goldberg proceeded to grab Jericho by the throat. Jericho eventually managed to get Goldberg in a front face lock before the two former world champions would be separated. The two would then shake hands and call a truce, and the two would go on to work a program together in summer of 2003. Number 9. Sheamus vs Sin Cara now, there aren't too many details surrounding the 2014 fight between Sheamus and Sin Cara, but what we do know is that the fight took place over something ridiculously petty. According to the reports, Sin Cara was being checked out by the medical trainer backstage on a medical table. Sheamus reportedly came into the locker room and made a passing comment in relation to how he was more important than Sin Cara and that he should be given priority. This led to Sin Cara getting off the table and a brawl between the two ensued, which Sin Cara apparently got the best of. This wasn't the first time that Sheamus reportedly got beat up. There was an infamous story when she was beaten up by Yoshi Tatsu as Sheamus was refusing to give Yoshi money that was owed to him. So it appears that Sheamus has had an issue with a number of superstars throughout his career. Number 8 Buff Bagwell vs Shane Helms One of the more well-known backstage fights in WWE is a fight between Buff Bagwell and Shane Helms. Buff came into the WWE in 2001 with an inflated ego and he was reportedly extremely disliked backstage with hardly anyone wanting to work with him. The story goes that Bagwell began to badmouth Shane Helms and even slapped him. This resulted in Helms hitting Buff with a frozen water bottle and Helms began unloading on Buff. This incident gave Helms a newfound status in the WWE locker room, gaining much respect. According to Helms, he actually cracked Buff's head wide open. He revealed, he said something and I burned him really bad and he got like all offended by it and he came and hit me in the damn ear. He's like standing on the floor and he outweighs me by 50 pounds anyway. Everybody in there knows I bang my shoulder up so he then comes and hits me from behind and I kind of just threw it at him like this and then I jumped out of the ring and this was just kind of to distract him because now I'm going to punch him in the face but he cracked his head open and he was bleeding all over the place. I'm like, I really didn't intend for it to do that and I didn't think it would. I don't know, I guess the water in it made it harder. That is what happens when you freeze water. Number 7 JBL vs Joey Styles a JBL obtained a reputation during his time in WWE for being a massive bully, and mainly bullying those individuals who couldn't really defend themselves. On a 2008 tour of Iraq, JBL set his sights on Joey Styles for the majority of the tour, and Styles simply had enough, so he confronted him and then proceeded to punch the former WWE Champion right in the face, knocking him out in the process. According to former WWE superstar Simon Dean, JBL was absolutely seething that Styles had confronted him and stated, 
Styles had enough and there was pushing while guys tried to hold them apart. Bradshaw got free somehow and he started lunging towards Joey and Joey got his arm out and knocked him on his ass. I dare say that Bradshaw's wrestling career was never the same after that. Number 6 Batista and Booker T A Batista and Booker T are two of the most popular superstars in WWE history. The two were seemingly beloved by everyone they worked with, but for some reason they had an issue that resulted in physicality in the summer of 2006. The story goes that the two had a disagreement whilst filming the commercial for 2006's SummerSlam pay-per-view. It was said to be a respect issue as Booker T believed that Batista had been badmouthing the SmackDown locker room. Nevertheless, the two got into a heated exchange and Booker T was said to have got the better of the exchange. Now, what was interesting about this is that shortly after the incident, the two men actually began feuding and would even face off at SummerSlam for the world title. According to Kurt Angle, who was also there filming for the commercial, it was all one massive misunderstanding. Angle believed that Batista wasn't being disrespectful in the comments made towards the SmackDown locker room, and Booker simply misunderstood what Batista said. According to Booker T, however, the fight was a lot more physical than websites were reporting at the time. Booker T's account of the incident went as follows. I told Batista, hey man, let's just get this out in the open. I really don't like you. You really don't like me, but we gotta work together. It's our jobs. We gotta go out and perform together. You know what I mean? But if you ever cross me, you're gonna have to deal with these, pointing at his fists. Later on, he and I actually confronted each other like men. The fight went down and, you know, I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but I got fast hands, man, and I'm quick with my hands. Number 5. Shawn Michaels vs Bret Hart the real-life hatred between HBK and Bret Hart hit a fever pitch in the summer of 1997 as the two came to blows backstage at a Raw show. The brawl between the two men surfaced after HBK made a passing comment in a promo a few weeks prior that Hart was potentially having an affair with WWE diva Sonny. The story goes that HBK went for a punch and missed. Hart then punched HBK and began to swing him by his hair. Michaels then proceeded to go after Hart's injured leg before the two were separated. HBK would then storm into Vince McMahon's office and inform Vince that he was quitting and he would go to WCW. Obviously this never happened and HBK and Brett continued their feud on screen throughout 1997. Number 4 Eddie Guerrero vs Kurt Angle Eddie Guerrero and Kurt Angle had tremendous chemistry in the ring. However, a lumberjack match between the two men in 2004 was notable for being the worst match they've ever had against each other. Both Guerrero and Angle are perfectionists, so anything less than a great match just wouldn't be acceptable. Following the match, Angle would confront Guerrero backstage, claiming to have carried Guerrero through the match. This resulted in Eddie getting physical with Angle and pushing him away. Guerrero then attempted to take down the Olympic gold medalist before before Angle countered the attempt with a front face lock. The brawl was broken up by the 7 foot tall Big Show and the two managed to patch things up and rekindle their working relationship. Number 3 Chris Jericho vs Brock Lesnar The main event of SummerSlam 2016 featured one of the most dramatic moments in SummerSlam history as Lesnar proceeded to bust open Randy Orton with a stiff elbow to the head. As his spot looked completely legitimate, WWE legend Chris Jericho was irate backstage who was led to believe that Lesnar had just gone into business for himself and had shot on Orton. When Lesnar got backstage, Jericho confronted Lesnar and reports at the time stated that Jericho actually pushed the former UFC champion against the wall. Another report indicated that Lesnar actually kissed Jericho on the forehead. Now, luckily, both men were separated by Vince McMahon before the scene got too violent and out of control. Number 2 The Big Show vs The Great Khali The Big Show and The Great Khali's backstage fight is perhaps the most famous backstage fight of all time. It took place following a house show in which Khali apparently stole Big Show's trademark chop in the corner. When the duo got back to the locker room, Big Show asked why Khali kept stealing his moves. Khali was confused as to what The Big Show was referring to. Show then threw Carly's bag across the locker room and the two giants faced off. The two then had a legitimate fist fight with them throwing brutal punches back and forth. The fight ended when the Big Show humorously tripped over a chair and Carly got on top of him before other wrestlers separated the two men. And number 1 Vince McMahon vs Kofi Kingston Yeah, did you know that WWE Chairman Vince McMahon and Kofi Kingston once had a legitimate fight backstage? Yeah, you heard right. In 2010, McMahon and Kofi were on the plane along with Chris Jericho and John Cena. When the plane landed, Vince made a passing comment to Kofi about him failing to get over in WWE. According to Jericho, he informed Kofi that he needed to challenge the chairman to a fight. Kofi would ask Vince if he had an issue with him and Vince reportedly responded with, Maybe I do. What are you going to do about it? 
After a verbal back and forth, Vince actually hit a double leg takedown on Kofi and the two scuffled around on the floor before Vince got up and laughed about the situation. This is truly one of the most downright bizarre and unexpected backstage stories in WWE history. But there you have it folks, 10 WWE wrestlers who had real life fights backstage. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.